Hello, people of God. Today is actually the <laughs> today is actually the nineteenth. Wow, today is actually the nineteenth of February, two thousand and twenty. Oh my goodness, God is wonderful. God is wonderful. He is a true, true God. There's nothing that is too difficult for Him. Above, among the among the gods, the Bible says, "Who is like unto our God?" You see, the Bible keeps telling us there's a difference between the wisdom of God and the wisdom of men, and we need to abort it by every means, our own wisdom, not to lean on our own understanding, but in all of our ways, acknowledge Him that He will direct our path. You know. The Bible said Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. We cannot but win. We cannot but fulfill God's purpose in our lives, especially when we have invited Jesus, the Holy Spirit himself, into our life, who has become our friend and our teacher and our all. He will never forsake us. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. We are with him even to the end of age. He said, the word of God is like sharper than two-edged sword. It pierces through the heart to the bone marrow. So it, it, it can decipher every, every way and every means and, every, and everything. You know, God's word is potent. His word is final, the Bible says. He has the final word. He spoke and he stands. It's, it's, it's a, his word carries weight. His word... His word carries power, you know. In the beginning, right from the beginning, when there was nothing, when there was nothing, when there was emptiness and the world was void without nothing, God spoke his word and he stood, even up to now. We are enjoying creation and everything that we see, even the things that we cannot see. God spoke it into being. God's word made it finer and concrete. And he continued to speak in our lives. As we invite him, may Christ be revealed in every area of our lives. May Christ be revealed in our finances, in our children's lives, in our marriages. May Christ be revealed in our schools. May Christ be revealed in our healthcare system, in our hospitals. May Christ be revealed even in our children's lives. May Christ be revealed in the youth, in children, in fetuses, in pregnant women, in men and women, even in the elderly. The Bible says, you know, the age, aging is, you know, something that we should yearn for because it comes with wisdom. But aging without the wisdom of God is foolishness. You know, the Bible says the foolishness of God is wiser than human wisdom. And human wisdom is foolishness to God. And therefore, we want to abort our own ways and our own thoughts and our own wisdom and adopt the plans and the designs in the ways of God. May Christ go ahead of us, causing his angels to realign our activities, all our interactions to please him. That whatever we do, we know that our reward, so he is the one that diligently seeks him. Our reward comes from him and him alone. He is the one, he's the rewarder. So whenever we are working, we are working as if we are working unto him because he is the one to reward us. He put us here. He is a porter, we are the clay.